it's making me hey guys what's up it's noelle welcome back to my channel so today is monday december 5th it is 8 42 p.m and i just got back from pilates but i just wanted to start this video because let's just say this week or this month not starting december 1st but like the past three weeks have kind of been hectic for me very exciting things but it has been a little chaotic and my brain has been at max capacity so let me just break it down for you justin and i are buying a house number one i am finishing grad school in a week number two number three i am taking a certification for automation using uipath Number four, I am learning a whole new EHR system, which is an electronic health record, which is what nurses used to chart. And in a month, I am teaching users, physicians, providers, whoever needs help, I will be helping them wearing a red vest and standing around for a 12 hour shift, just ready to help anyone um, in a month. That is why I've kind of been MIA. I've been using my time to try to equally prepare for all of these things that are happening at once. Well, we saw like, probably like 15 houses in a week, learning a crap ton about the house buying process. With school, this has been probably my hardest class. It's healthcare analytics, um, something that I'm not familiar with at all. One more week of this class, basically just have to record a presentation for that. And then automation, that is just a whole new thing. Why I decided to add that on top of everything else that I knew was already going on. I don't know, but at the same time, there's an opportunity to do this mini like boot camp where I could get help learning these skills. So I kind of just jumped on the opportunity and I will say it's put me a little overboard, a little stressed in the noggin, but I'm just happy to be learning new things, especially technical skills. Um, that's one thing at my job that I've been trying to do, just take advantage of all the courses and programs and resources to learn all these technical skills that I haven't heard of before or um, have barely like dabbled in. And then the last thing is same kind of thing with the EHR system. There was an opportunity um, kind of last minute. So it's been a little chaotic. Luckily for me, that stuff comes very easily to me. It's pretty like intuitive, but there are a lot of study materials that I had to go over. 16 videos each, like an hour and a half to two and a half hours long. Um, so very time consuming. And I have to pass a competency test for that as well. And to make this all even crazier, I have to finish grad school, pass my um, certification, pass my competencies for the EHR, and pretty much like finalize all of our house stuff in two weeks. We leave on December 20th to go home to Virginia to spend the holidays with our families. And I'm basically trying to get everything done before then because I'm gonna forget stuff probably while I'm on vacation. I'm not gonna be working the full time we're in Virginia. And obviously I just wanna relax and have fun and spend time with my family. So four major things happening right now for me, four very exciting things, things I am passionate and excited about and motivated to learn it just all happens to be happening right now and um i have two weeks oh and i forgot we have to pack basically before we leave not pack everything but pack a lot because as soon as we get home back in texas basically the next day or two we're gonna be moving so on top of everything i've already mentioned we have to start packing get boxes um the whole shebang. So I think I will be doing some moving content. Um, I'm excited to organize. I'm excited to kind of set up our new house and everything like that. But for the meantime, I am just trying to organize my brain and honestly complete everything. So um, I just wanted to sit down and kind of explain the chaos in case this video is kind of like all over the place. It'll be interesting to look back even after I finish like on the on the 20th when we're on the flight home to Virginia. I can look back and be like, wow, I did all that. I, I completed that. I passed my automation certification, which I am just manifesting that because I'm not expecting to pass. It's a very new skill for me, but I'm kind of just winging it and saying what the heck now or never kind of situation. So I think I've rambled enough. Let's get into the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe.
Good morning. It is Tuesday. Um, I just wanted to pop on real quick because I'm stuck in traffic right now and it's so funny because I always put my Google Maps on even though my commute is not that long and I know the route um, since I've been doing it for almost a year now but there's always traffic in Texas. You never know when there's an accident or whatever. People are crazy. Um, so I always put my GPS on but today I was running late and I didn't do it. And of course, now I'm stuck in traffic. So, um, I just thought that was funny because, of course, the day that I'm running late, <laughs> I get stuck in traffic. And not that it's a big deal, which I love about my job because I'm not feeling anxious about like being late or anything. But I just had to share just a funny morning, morning commute story today. I have my last day of automation boot camp, which is basically I just work on it all day and see what I can get done. that I was vlogging um, as to be expected like I said my brain is just all over the place but it is 8 30 again I like just filming at night I guess I guess 8 30 is the time that my brain is like I think you're filming um, and also I always laugh when I sit in this chair um, shout out Alicia for that puzzle picture but why I picked up this camera is because I'm about to finish grad school I basically have one assignment to just review and then submit and I have submitted every assignment for my last two classes. Yeah, I just really wanted to document because I started my journey with you guys on in grad school and now I'm ending two years later. Let's just sit here together while I finish, finish grad school if my battery doesn't die and we can celebrate together. Also, just made spaghetti. Well, didn't just make it, but made spaghetti for dinner. I want to show you guys the gluten-free noodles that we got because Justin approved of them and they're actually really good. They're not, they're rice noodles, but they don't taste like rice noodles, if you know what I mean, if you've had them before. And then also I told myself once I finished grad school, I would get my nails done. So I want to show you guys this inspo that I had. Um, I kind of want to do like a French tip and then do a little design like that Christmas tree I think is super cute. And then also like snowflake and stripes. And yes, these are press on nails that are from like Walmart or something. But um, not this weekend, but I think next weekend I'm going to get my nails done just so they will still be fresh and good for the holidays. But yeah, that's, that's what's happening. So let's get this homework done so we can officially celebrate. I just had to put on, I filmed my presentation. I had to put on like one of my work shirts because she wanted us to basically like Zoom screen record ourselves, have our presentation and then, you know, like the little box with you in it. Um, so I threw on a work shirt and now I'm back in my like just chilling lounging shirt and let's get this other assignment submitted. 21 can you do something for me i don't know the lyrics of that song <laughs> but it's constantly in my head okay okay this is actually just giving me anxiety of like i need to hurry up and finish so what i'm about to submit i will turn you back on okay I can't even say it. I'm about to submit my last assignment of grad school. Two years of grad school, healthcare informatics. I'm about to be done. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm like so nervous. This assignment is like 300 points. Actually, it's not like it is 300 points. It's making me anxious like I know everything's there I've checked it literally like five times and I just have to submit it I've read the instructions like five times everything's there Noelle just hit that submit button let's do it together 
All right, let's focus camera. There she is. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, now let me just review, make sure I did everything and I'm not forgetting anything because that would be tragic. How I do that, the best way to do that is just go to your grades, make sure everything was submitted. And then for some classes like discussions, you have to make sure you did the reply and the actual discussion post. So let me check that. Oh, Ooh. sorry. I just, she just graded something and I got a hundred on it. And that's exciting because I literally, Oh, this is what I wanted to tell you guys. Take advantage of office hours because professors, one, professors love when you attend their office hours. So they're not just like sitting by themselves, talking to themselves. But also it's just like free, basically one-on-one -on -one tutoring from the person who is literally grading your assignment. So why wouldn't you? Last night, literally I jumped on office hours three minutes before it started and we went through my entire presentation which I recorded tonight and submitted. And she was like, this is great, change this. Or like, you need to do this or make sure you say this. And literally basically got a hundred because of that. Um, I was nervous to submit that and she reassured me and I, I gained some confidence for my presentation tonight um, from just knowing that the slides that I was presenting off of were a-okay. So. That's, if you're in school, that's my biggest, biggest recommendation. Like, don't be afraid to be that nerd or whatever and just take advantage of it because it's free. I mean, you're, I mean, it's not free because you're paying for school, but why not? Because the professor's there and the professor is grading it. So, but back to me just over, over reassuring myself that I submitted every assignment for grad school, 2022, December. I don't even know where I'm going in Blackboard. I'm all jumbled up here. Okay, you just click on the assignment. It says submitted. So we're good there. We go back, click on the other assignment. That doesn't even say it could be graded, but you click on that, it's there. And I think I can just chillax and Say goodbye. This was the last assignment I just submitted, my e-portfolio. Can I do this on camera? X. Celebrate good times, come on. Celebrate. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have finished grad school, like I've just said 500 times, a week early. I did it. And I now have my master's, not officially because I don't have a transcript or a diploma, but officially in my mind. I'm happy that I did it. I've learned so much. I think it, it really is going to help me in my future. It's kind of given me the baseline for a lot of technical skills and different skills that I want to learn in the future. So if you're into kind of like technical skills, analytics, things like that, Healthcare informatics is a great degree. You can also do healthcare analytics if you know that you wanna go the analyst route. Yeah, I'm just really happy. I'm at a loss for words and I can't believe this two years is over and I, and I did it. We did it, as uh, Elle Woods would say. Sign it off, good night. All right, I am on my way to a holiday dinner for work, which is super exciting because I never had that with nursing. So um, I was feeling kind of drained and had a headache, but I had some cranberry juice and that brought me back to life. So I'm gonna go, haven't been to this restaurant before. So kind of curious about that. And then also trying to be social, even though I am kind of tired, um, but just stop by home wearing work clothes because everyone else is coming from work. But my house is on the way from work to the restaurant. So just stop by, said hi to Justin for a little bit. And now I'm heading out. So let's go see how the food is. Back from our holiday dinner with two bags of chicken. It was really good. Fried chicken with a biscuit, brought it home. No one else wanted them for some reason. I actually had a really good time. Enjoyed talking to my coworkers about life, not work, just chilling. Um, and I'm glad I went. So your sign, if you're not feeling it, but you know maybe 
you're slightly interested, just go and you'll probably have a great time. Good morning. Today is Thursday, December 8th, and I'm working from home. I'm going to make these gluten-free pumpkin pancakes. I was trying to read it in the viewfinder and that did not work out. Um, my mom got these from Trader Joe's and brought them for Thanksgiving. And I kind of want something like carby this morning. So I'm gonna make these. Today I'm gonna work on my EHR system that I'm learning because in my mind it all makes sense, but when I'm actually like navigating through the system, I, I feel like I still am struggling a little bit and I've been working on grad school and my automation stuff for like the past couple of weeks. So I kind of put that on the back burner once I finished all of my training. So I just need to go back, review stuff, um, actually go into the system in the test environment and kind of play around in it. So that's that's my focus today. And then I have a three hour meeting. Um, one of the three hour, one of the two three hour meetings that I have monthly. And yeah, I'm actually presenting something in the meeting today. So I'll go over that real quick before the meeting. But it's gonna be a pretty chill day. It's gloomy outside and pancakes right now just seem like the right move. So let's get these battered up and on the on the stove really good. They smell really good too. The only maple syrup I'll eat. 100% maple syrup. It doesn't have to be this brand, but. Wow, these are actually really good. So Justin had asked me if I felt more relaxed or different now that I'm pretty much done with grad school. My final grades haven't been released, but um, like I mentioned previously, I've submitted all my assignments. So it's still like lingering in the back of my head because I don't have my final grade. So I'm like, did I forget something? Are they gonna give me a bad grade? But I'm trying to make it like out of sight, out of mind. I saw these other two things, my certification, which doesn't really have a deadline. So I've kind of relaxed on that, but I also still wanna get it done before the end of the year. I may end up taking it at my mom's just because she has better Wi-Fi, so. I might end up taking it like the, the day that we get there, but I need to focus on my EHR training because I have my competency scheduled on the 19th and that's basically a little less than two weeks at this point. I'm a little more relaxed now that school's over, but I, I need to get back on my like motivation and my grind because I still have a lot to do. I'm gonna finish this YouTube video and then get working on my trainings. I have my meeting at 1 p.m. and I just practiced my presentation that I'm gonna be giving. So that is all settled and yeah, it should be a great day. I'm getting antsy. So we have these two small boxes. We're going to get bigger boxes this weekend from Lowe's to pack up stuff, but I'm gonna to try to put some of this stuff that we don't use like daily in these little boxes and see how it goes. I am getting ready for Pilates. I gotta leave in like 10 minutes and um, I desperately need to do laundry since I have to wear these joggers, which are actually, they're fine, um, but all my leggings are dirty. <laughs> Just sprayed myself with perfume because I also forgot that I didn't have any clean um, like rubber, non-slip socks so i just had to pull them out of the laundry i'm not gonna buy a new pair of socks um i'll do laundry when i get home for all my workout gear and stuff so 
That's what's happening right now. I just took a nap. My head was hurting a lot, so I took a nap. And that was very much needed. I just got back from work. It is Thursday. No, it's Friday, December 9th. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Not me just singing um, Fire Burning by Sean Kingston at the top of my lungs and Justin's in a work call. I am waiting for a call from a vendor for work, but tonight we are going to get boxes and start packing. So um, I think I'm gonna film a video for that. That's why I'm gonna end this one here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Half the chaos is kind of over for me. Um, like I said, I still have my EHR training. I still have a certification I wanna take before the end of the year. And we are still in the process of buying a house, but right now it's pretty much just getting paperwork and everything set up. So my brain has settled slightly, but not really. And yeah, just stay tuned for the results of my certification and how um, training goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.